Hey again, what's going on? Welcome back to another BT Plays One here, joined by Ryan and Keith. In the previous video, we played WWF Raw. In this video, we played WWF Raw. If you, in case you're confused, <laughs> we're playing one from a different generation. <laughs> we played the one for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I did terrible, but now uh, I'm gonna play something that I believe neither of you have ever played or, or damn near watched. Right? That is correct. I've never actually seen a match of this game. I never owned an original Xbox, so this is okay. completely new to me. Yeah, I played the heck out of Raw 2, but I never played the original one. Yeah, so I'm playing on the 360, but luckily this one is backwards compatible. We were talking about some of the different games, like the Evolution of Wrestling games, so that's why, you know, this is kind of fitting to do. I'm going to turn DQ off for, for seemingly no reason, and I'm going to do hardcore. I'm just going to do hardcore match here. Um, I played this. It's available for Xbox and PC. You know, the PC version is actually heavily modded, uh, which is really nice. So that was have really the first wrestling game that, like, got big mod support. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to this day, you have, like, John Cena, like, different mods like that. And you can see the roster is sort of like a testament of its time, you know? So this is based around like the 2001, yeah, ish yeah. WWF. Just, just incredible, before, in it. yeah. Just before W, they became WWE. So who am I playing as? I think you should play as Taka Michinoku. Agree. Can it be Him or Steve H? Blackman? Taka there you go. Versus Steve Blackman. This is this is the match that everybody yeah. wanted to play in this game. So, can somebody tell me why Funaki is not... I don't know if he's, like, unlockable, but he's not in the game. So, why is Taka by himself? It, I, I don't know. I thought Funaki way outlasted Taka in the company. He did, but Taka had a little more impact as a superstar. Funaki's whole thing around this time is just going, Indeed! With the terrible translation. You know, one thing I was yeah, very set, surprised by. I was going to say, the set actually doesn't look that bad. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I played just one match. I, I sucked. <laughs> I played one match before we hit record. Because, like, the Raw one for the Super Nintendo didn't go too well for me, so I tried practicing a little bit. And I can hit a finisher to save my life, so I'm hoping I can somehow do it here. Um, but I was so surprised So how do finishers that. work in this game? Is it like the weird WWF Warzone thing where you hit like up down up down A B A B start select? No, to this do a is choke this slam? is SmackDown ish. Uh, this is like a hybrid of SmackDown and No Mercy. So there's a meter that you're gonna see once I start playing that slides back and forth. It's like a Steve Those are Blackman questionable is cut. karate moves. Yeah. By the way, yeah. Jesus is he cut in this game? Oh my God, he's Notice huge. Everybody has like the largest shoulders in history. Look at that. Their shoulders yeah. are like Jesus. as large as like wide as their body. Like they couldn't li they couldn't like have their arms exactly to their side. Wow, that was wow, a yeah. that was a hard perspective change. Yeah, I just yeah uh, no they uh, for the sake of they time definitely I cut a little bit. I have a similar stance in Raw 2 where they're always kind of like hunched over slightly. Yeah. But yeah, this camera angle is obnoxious. It's a little too close. Is there like production gear there? Oh, weird. How they just like leave production boxes out. No, that's because well, it's, it's a, a hardcore, hardcore match. match. Yeah, oh, so that's their way of getting by them. Right. So let me briefly explain the control. So with the D-pad, you walk around, you double tap to run. Uh, with the uh, joystick, you can just run all over the place. Controls are fairly... Uh, um, Steve? Steve? D Over here. So yeah, it's basically SmackDown. But you see the, the bar on the, on the bottom, right? 1P and then uh, CPU. So basically, you're supposed to be able to hit your finisher when it flashes, when basically you're kicking a lot of ass. You get him groggy, and then you grapple, and then you hit X and A, or X or A and B or something, but it wasn't working for me, so I'm just gonna So is that like a best. shared health meter that like goes back and forth depending on how well you're doing? You no, know, they, they felt like what? they wanted to make the game a little bit more complicated. So then you see we is that all- a snowboard? We have yeah, that seems, I'm gonna try and grab that. The, oh, the you can collect. The box disappeared, wow. You can collect items, heck? so like you can actually uh, even wear some items. So you can get like a cane mask and wear it. Regarding the, the stamina thing, you see like we all have a bar. The thing yeah. in the left, if it starts flashing, that means you're more prone to pinning. And then notice like as I run and all that, my stamina meter runs down. So not only is there one bar, there's technically three things you got to look at while playing. I'm I'm gonna see what I can do with this table. I forget if you is it like SmackDown. Here comes the pain where you can just set up the table and walk around. I've, oh wow! Okay, so 
That was fast. Until <laughs> you set it up about as fast as possible. It's it's so jarring, like because it yeah, like that kind of camera angle that just happened. It's so jarring between the like cinematic camera angles and the actual gameplay. Like their yeah. skin tone changes. They uh, should have made it a little more consistent. How do I get him on the table though? <laughs> That's also not how a color and elbow tie up is supposed to yeah. look, I think. So yeah, there's kind of just GR hugging that really. popped up. So are they boxes because you won't get the same item every time exactly. in them? Like, okay. Because you can unlock different items, so you can actually say, hey, I like this. You see how it says new? So you actually collect items, which is kind of cool in a wrestling game. It's, it's different, right? It's neat that they have, like, unconventional weapons. Like, it's a snowboard versus a tire right now. It's actually a Stone Cold Steve Austin snowboard. Huh. I wonder if that was ever a thing. If you want to hit this bunny hill, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> One thing that sucks, uh, the hit detection in this game is terrible. They actually have no grapple animations if they're stunned on the ropes. So instead, let me see if I can trigger it. If not, then I look bad. Uh, when you grapple them, it just acts like you're punching them. So it looks super awkward. That's something I think they might have fixed in the next game, because I remember you could do 619s, oh. but I don't remember what you had to do to get it. Jesus. Damn. Oh, what a splash. <laughs> wow. The intensity. This is motion capture by people that don't know how to actually wrestle. Yeah, oh. for sure. Okay, finally, yeah, this was oh. good violence. This was probably before they had actual wrestlers mo-capping wrestling games. But they at least had, um, at least they have, like, the detection if you slam somebody on yeah. an object. Yeah. Okay. One, two. Plus, it's a little thing, but you notice what? how if you go to the steps, there's two, they break the steps into two separate yeah. parts. Being said, you see, he just clotheslined me through the announcer table. You see, right now it's flashing, so I'm supposed to get in groggy, which he is right now. Let's see here. Oh my god, I think I can hit it! Oh, I made a finishing move! What? Oh, wow. it's no good what? driver! And he knows sold Dude, the shit out of it! What the hell? Wow, that double feature thing is kinda cool how it shows the replay and you're still fighting. Yeah, it's amazing because even games today, like the replay, it actually pauses. Like, it kept happening here. That's actually really awesome. Well, because they used to do the replays, like, I mean, they still do replays like that, but it yeah. had even the right graphic. But of exactly. the way that they did it. To me, this game looks like it is all presentation and not all that much substance. Like, as far as the actual gameplay, it seems kind of janky, kind of, like, uh, stuttery, but the replays look good, the whole double feature and the details of, like, oh, hey, the steps breaking apart. Like, that all seems good. That all seems like good presentations. The entrances and stuff looked incredible, but the actual gameplay not so much. And one thing so I wasn't much. able to show, you know how they make a big deal out of current games you can interfere during entrances? This already had that. This game had that feature wow. already. That was kind of the cool thing about the, the GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2 era was because there was literally three, like, three different games being made for WWE. And really, all three of them years. are doing different things at that time. Yeah, yeah, so they all did try and do different things, and now it, it kind of stinks when we're just stuck with one game every single year. We used to get a lot more, and that way there were pros and cons to all those games. <laughs> hey, I danced a little bit. <laughs> Come so on! So is there a way to reliably make the AI groggy, or your opponent groggy? Or the only way I figured out so, uh, so far is pretty much just punch them until they get groggy. Or they counter like that. <laughs> he just, he won't go down, man. He will not. I mean, okay, you know what? I'm going to give him this match. I'm just going to let right. Steve Blackman win. As is, bite that, or BT plays tr tradition, you lost. Because <laughs> I got him, I, I want, I need to show you this. This does have Creator Superstar. Maybe we can do a video down the line where we visit some of these games and only focus on the Creator Superstar and like see how that looks. That would be pretty cool. So if anybody's watching and wants to see that, let us know. Um, match wise, you see there's not a lot happening. It's like just multi-man matches or hardcore, but there's no cage match. There's no Hell in a Cell or some, things like that. I want to play, I'm going to play as Triple H because I need to show you how Triple H looks in this game. Uh, so give me two other guys to you, you wanna you wanna see. Uh, Rikishi and uh, Undertaker. What? Yeah, let's do Undertaker. Uh, Wait, can you rowdy. just put women in the matches with the men? Yeah, yeah, you can. 
Okay, so there's Rikishi. Looks okay, right? Looks okay. Look, take her. Check out okay. Triple H. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? that looks like Triple H trying to get into the Cruiserweight division. <laughs> wow. wow. Rikishi looks Is accurate. this why, like, Look going forward... Yeah, Rikishi looks pretty damn good. Is this why going forward, Triple H looks like a jacked up monster in every other wrestling <laughs> video game? He had to make up he for it. He didn't go over in this one game, so he needed yeah. to go over in the rest of them. So obviously we're not here in Limp Bizkit right now because we want to continue the channel growing. Uh, but <laughs> instead you're getting treated to some generic rock music right now. But here's Biker Taker. Okay. That, that bike was they like actually a lot better. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of cool that they actually got the licensed music. There was Fred Durst was in one of the SmackDown games. Yeah, that was probably really just bring it. And now, the coup de grace. Time to play yes. enjoy the Cruiserweight version of Triple H, guys. This is great. <laughs> He's so tiny. <laughs> Look at that. The man has a knee wow. in like a wow. year. Steve Blackman has a bigger build than Triple H. Jeez, his face looks awful. Everything, everything about him. He looks it just like a looks cough. sickly. Look at the Titantron. Okay, look at the Titantron. And then look, <laughs> and look at, at, at the that guy below Triple H. Not even room. Triple H must have made somebody mad on the development team because even his entrance looks like garbage. It's just all black. There's not that much lighting going on. It's not good. It's so piss poor. He just has like his face. He's just like he has this like, like just looks like this looking face. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like he just ate a bunch of sour skittles before coming out, and he's like he doesn't want to swallow them or something, so they're just there in his mouth. Yeah, at least they look got the, the water. Look spirit. at the middle of the ring. They didn't even render lighting. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, that that's a that's a rough. I didn't yeah. skip Ooh. that for the record. That's actually how it started. <laughs> you know, maybe this is a case where a loading screen might be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, or a fade out. You can do a nice fade oh, out. Oh yeah, just a fade out. So that's interesting in multi-man matches how the momentum bar is shared three ways and it adjusts accordingly. Okay, so if you had to give me something positive based on what you've been seeing so far, uh, what would you say has been good? I would say the presentation and everything around the matches. Like, the whole weapon idea is actually really cool. The entrances, for the most part, minus the whole Triple H thing, look pretty good. The replays and stuff, how they got the double feature, they really nailed the presentation on this game. It's just, with a wrestling game... 99% of what you do is wrestling, and this part doesn't look like it really uh, keeps up with the rest of the game. So, the presentation's cool, gameplay maybe needed a little more work. Yeah, it hit a lot of marks on everything but the gameplay. Do you know much about the story mode at all? Uh, as far as I know, it's basically like an arcade mode type story mode, so it's not like this deep thing that you can go into it's not no mercy it's not just bring it this is very much here's a re what is triple h even doing i'm trying to grapple see like it's so short you can't yeah, even just just, they were just people. trying to get a wrestling game on the xbox yeah, yeah. and you know what they, they uh they didn't do too bad but we've definitely seen worse. Yeah, True. No, no, we like definitely the have. third game that they released on Xbox, <laughs> which is not oh, even backwards compatible. Because I was actually thinking, hey, we should we should look at that. It's so you know, bad. Maybe that's for they the can't. best. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. best to just let that lay there. Oh. By the way, did you notice the extremely large ramp? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, double X handle. And yes, you can interrupt animations, as you can see. So very different to the SmackDown games. This took more of a... Not even the N64 games did. So this kind of did it before the uh, the uh, GameCube games did it. Oh, this came out before uh, WrestleMania 19? Well, yeah, it would have to, right, obviously? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forget if WrestleMania 18 did that. Maybe we we take a look at that so wait, later. Wait, 2002? Oh, I guess the Xbox was out in 2002. It's old. It's old, man. Oh, so, oh, the, yeah, this came out at the same time as WrestleMania 18. Yeah, you're right. These triple threat matches are not fun because you can't hit a move because the AI won't let you work. They're terrible workers. So November that whenever... 2001, the Xbox came out. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then lives changed. I mean, thanks to Halo and stuff. I mean, we, we got some good stuff. And Feast and Frenzy was a, was a good game on Xbox. Super random. It's The Rock's favorite system. The original Xbox? Yeah. He came out on the uh, in a press conference like during oh, the original right, reveal right. to uh, spit game about how great the Xbox is. <laughs> okay, Rikichi driver. Yeah, I mean the original Xbox was cool. It like had like an identity to it, and then like 360 and PS3 is kind of when things just kind of became like there wasn't too many differences between having either one. Yeah, you know. And the the life of the Xbox was not long at all. And then Nintendo is like, hey, let's try that with the Wii U. Wow. Wow. Mm. Well, maybe with the NX, man. Maybe with the NX. You know, with the 360 and all that, we kind of just started getting smacked in. But we got All Stars, uh, which is something that, that I like to play here. Um, and yes. they, they stop with that, you know? All Stars is the best wrestling game of last generation, if you don't let me say Saints Row the <laughs> Third. It's uh, it's so good, and it was such a unique idea with the whole arcade over the top. Yeah, Basically yeah. Basically, what you remember of 80s wrestling looking like. Yeah, in our top just 10 wrestling games video gets a lot of crap for even having All Stars on the list, but if you. It's because it doesn't have a good story mode or anything like that. But as far as just pure party game, fun gameplay, All Stars is amazing. Wait, what? It Wait, said three, it said but three, then, and then yeah. two count. Counting ref, is it that hard? This is a He's not even to play. there. Yeah. This is this is really hard to play. Whenever I try to hit any move, one of them will just interrupt it. Like so I'm trying we're going right now. to have to have another just non-ending <laughs> is because that, the is Smash that will never tradition? end. Is that going to be the thing? Yes. With the SmackDown games, I know that won't happen, but it seems to be like with everything else, man. Even Rikishi is like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I think these three men are destined to fight forever. We're going to get a conclusive finish. I am going to let Rikishi win now. Do it, do it. Rikishi won with what did he do? I, I forgot already. He, like, a headbutt, I think. It yeah, was. or something. Triple H putting someone over. Why? Triple H is like, why? He's like, no. That is just the most awkward like ending where Rikishi celebrating and Triple H is just behind him like, oh man. Uh, oh, oh shucks, guys. Before uh, we end the video, could you go to the museum? I'm actually super curious what's in there. Museum. I believe that's where the items are. Okay, superstar biographies. What happens if you just click that? Oh, this is cool. Okay. You can actually see. This is kind of like the, the N64 games, like Attitude and Warzone a bit. Oh man, Al Snow. Distressed, no, hold on, go to Al Snow again? Yeah. Distressed over treatment by Federation Brass in the past. Al Snow trademark, like how many trademarks are in yeah. here? <laughs> Result of his former gimmick, which include Avatar trademark and whatever that other Lee one Cassidy said. Lee Cassidy trademark, Lee yeah. Cassidy trademark. Wow, rather than registered. Time, Al proved himself as a legitimate World Wrestling <laughs> Federation superstar. Yeah. Mick Foley would laugh his ass off at that. Oh, okay. It seems like the game has a much larger roster because I don't go. Whoa. Okay. Bubba Ray, super accurate. Look at that face right now. This is where we should have yeah. started. That face. Okay. I, I don't want to look at the crotch. Look at Once the face. Devon trademark and Bubba Ray trademark. Oh, my God. They trademark everything back then. Yeah. But look at. He looks damn good. Yeah. Yeah. And then Benoit. And then Benoit happened. Benoit looks like Daniel Craig. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh my he god. Yes, he does. does. Oh my god. Jericho. Jericho looks good. Not bad. Okay. Uh, now we got Christian. Did it just crash on Crash? Crash looks happy to be here. He looks happy. Weight 400 pounds. <laughs> His head is huge. Oh my god, it is. It looks like a sip. Whoa, All of these yeah, descriptions sound like they're in kayfabe. Like, oh, Christian, this impressive young warrior. Holy crap. The Dudleys look awesome in this game. Yeah. Wow. The Dudleys must fantastic. have been promotional material for this game or something, and they got yeah. the stroke. Okay, so this game does have a lot of uh, more people that I haven't seen. Like, here's Eddie. Eddie looks pretty good. Edge looks... He looks good. He looks solid. Yeah, he's a little generic mm. looking, but... 
face could. Farouk yeah, looks kind of squished. Hey, there's Rudaki. He's in the game. Okay. Number yeah. one. Yeah, that was like indeed Funaki. Okay, Haku looks awesome. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Brother Nero looks all right. He looks pretty good. Looks solid, actually, now that I look up close. Yeah. Just Incredible looks lost, so... Looks so like it just looks incredible. like Just Incredible. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like got that face. <laughs> He's so sad to be there. He looks so young. Cake quick. Getting rowdy. What the? First debuted on Heat. Trademark. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that though. I remember actually watching that Heat. There's Kane. Can't screw that up. Kurt Angle. Except That's it when like he, looks yeah. like a face instead of a mask. <laughs> Oh, I kind of get what you mean. Yeah. Kurt Angle, they capture that dopey look, that's for sure. Yeah, that <laughs> looks weird. Okay, Lita looks pissed. <laughs> she looks yeah. pissed. Yeah, who not happy to be there. And, like, she ate some burritos that didn't g go down too well or something. Matt. They really, they really emphasize that chest, that's for sure. Yeah, Matt no looks kidding. like... Matt, uh, Matt, look, Matt looks He sickly. looks like he's about to die. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's going to with RBD before... Uh, Marla looks pretty good. Yeah. Curry. Where's Boppy? Looks kind of weird. Just a little. Whoa. Whoa. The, what weird. the hell? Yikes, bro. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. He doesn't even look human. <laughs> yeah. He looks like an alien. Rhino doesn't freaking age, man. I gotta keep saying this. Yeah. Although, Rhino really needs doesn't. to be, like, way wider. Yeah, yeah. Rikishi looks damn good. That beautiful, that beautiful yeah. Rikishi. Okay, the, the part that matters about Rikishi, let's check this out. Oh, Would you say it's accurate? Well you guys detailed. say it's accurate? Yeah. yeah. All right. Something weird about him. Yeah. Something's weird. I don't know Who what. What does he look like? He you mean me the somewhere. forehead, how it looks like a seven head? <laughs> yeah. Spike Dudley, he, he looks like he hung out with RVD for a good while. Yeah. He, he looks kind of sickly, too, actually. Steve Blackman, check out the check out the abs. Oh my God, he's so cut. Okay, the this hardcore is... power bomb is his finisher. Check out the chest. There's actual 3D definition. So let's keep that <laughs> oh in mind God, totally. for when we get to Triple H. All right, we're almost there. Stone Cold, he looks old. Hard Man. to screw up Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Texas Rattlesnake oh trademark. He... Oh my God. Holy crap. <laughs> He looks like I think Stone Cold today looks younger than yeah. that Stone Cold Steve <laughs> yeah. Austin. But God, they really definition. did trademark everything. Look, Austin 316, the Rattles Texas, Te rattlesnake. Texas Rattlesnake. Jesus. Wow. Isn't there Wrestling. a thing you can just have at the beginning Mr. where you McMahon. trademark everything and you don't have to Yeah, get it out of the way. Taka looks lost, but okay. Taz. <laughs> You'll find it, Taka. You'll find it. Is oh. this Triple H? No. <laughs> yeah. Tess looks Tess's like a video game character. Sunken. He looks like a video game character. Yes, he does. Yeah. He kind of looks like that safety not guaranteed guy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what the hell? What in oh the my hell? God. Oh. It looked like... Okay. His, his head is a different color than his body. He <laughs> has no ab area. Look at that. It's like he hasn't eaten. Totally. It's shrunken in. That's so weird. Shrink it in, man. Shrink it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trish looks weird. One fact that I've been noticing, they decided to exclude weight on the women wrestlers. Finishing move, the Trish dog. And I believe this is the last one. Taker. Oh, no, we got Regal. Okay. Uh, Taker. Looking, he's looking pretty good. He's looking not yeah. too bad. Actually, yeah. I'd say. If he looks kind of dead, that's appropriate. Yeah, yeah. it actually works. See, Regal, Regal has got uh, like a stomach area. Yep. It's got like a weird shadow thing going on in the middle. Is there just like a his, random uh, like birthmark on Regal's forearm? His I don't right know, but forearm. his nipples are extremely <laughs> far apart. Wow, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to like, compare. We're going to have to do uh, Regal oh my nipple God. comparison or something. Jesus. He's got those fisheye nipples going on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now here we go. Uh, last, maybe least, X Pac. <laughs> last and definitely least. <laughs> X Pac is six feet tall. That's no, he's, no, he, he is can't not six yeah. feet tall. <laughs> so favorite model. Let's end it with this favorite character model in the game. 
I would probably say I was going to make Ray a joke Dudley. until you said character model. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Ray, what about for you, uh, Ryan? Ryan? Um, character model. I, I'm, I'm actually going to say Devon. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, actually, now that I think about it, two answers: Bubba Ray Dudley, and then I will say Triple H is also my favorite yeah. for the complete for opposite reasons. reasons. But I'm going to have to say Devon. He looks badass. Devon gonna, does look badass. Look, look at that. He's so pissed off. Testify. <laughs> Like, I don't want to get no more tables, damn it. Yeah, gang, uh, this has That's been it. our look at uh, Dota of Raw for the Xbox. We got two conclusive matches. Uh, I didn't exactly win any of them, but if you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, check out the podcast available every Wednesday. If you want to go uh, one step further and support everything we do, simply head on over to patreon.com slash buy that. You can pledge, you get early access, you get exclusive behind the scenes updates, and some other perks that we're always trying to give. Uh, as a way of giving back for you giving us a brighter future for everything we do so thanks for watching and then I'm just going to leave you with Triple H for like 10 seconds as we fade off so thank you for watching and we'll be back with tons more right here on Bite That <laughs>